Watch you guys got another video here for you on Windows 10 versus Windows 11 gaming performance. Which is best out of these two operating systems? A lot of people have been saying that Windows 11 is the best operating system for gaming. We're going to take a look. But first, a word from our sponsor of this video. This video is sponsored by CD Key Sales. To get your Windows 10 Pro key, click on the Buy Now button. Put in my promo code, capital B, capital R, 09. Apply this to get 25% off the purchase price. Submit your order. Then choose to pay with your PayPal account. Then head over to the activation, change product key, copy your product key in and click next. Then click on activate to activate your Windows 10 Pro. All the information for that will be in the video description. So let's first start off with the first benchmark, which is for Windows 10. We're going to be doing heaven benchmark. Now, really, all I'm trying to do here is get a minimum and a maximum and a score. And I'll run this three times on each machine so we can get a, an idea of what the difference between the two operating systems are. Now, I can't see this being a massive amount of difference, maybe 10 or 15, 20 frames at most uh, for this particular type of uh, benchmark. And these will vary depending on each time you run it. It's not going to be the same every single time. The same thing for Cinebench and any other types of benchmarks that you see uh, run on people's computers. Every single time you run them, uh, the score will be slightly different. So we're looking for a, a, a basically a minimum and a maximum. And as you can see here, this was what we got for this particular system. So let's go ahead and take a look at the results here. We'll run these on Windows 11 so you can see side by side what both of the machines got so windows 10 got frames per second uh 134.7 score was 3394 minimum frames per second was 36.7 and maximum as well now these change because i did run this three times and you can see them changing on the screen here so just bear in mind that i did run this three times on each system i'm now going to run this on windows 11 it's exactly the same computer and uh, basically I did all the Windows 11 one first and I did run that uh, cleanup script on the Windows 11 as well. So it should be a bit faster than Windows 10. The Windows 10 was a complete fresh install and I run all the same tests again on Windows 10. So, so I'm expecting Windows 11 to be a little bit faster because I've run that debloat script on there. But as you can see here, I'm running Windows 11 now. And you can see these are the results on the screen right now. So there's a slight increase on Windows 11 for Heaven Benchmark. So I will save all these and I'll show you a side by side for just one slide here. But these are the Windows 11 results. And I did three passes on this one. So as you can see, there is a slight improvement. And we're talking probably around about, you know, 15 to 20 frames or something like that per second. And um, you can see the results on the screen right there. And I'll show you a side by side so you can get a general idea of what it's like for Heaven Benchmark, um, Windows 10 and Windows 11. So here is the final results. As you can see, not a massive difference. Score was 3394 for Windows 10 and 3660 for Windows 11. So 16.9 frames per second difference between Windows 10 and Windows 11 on Heaven Benchmark. So let's go ahead and do a Cinebench uh, test here for Windows 10. I'll speed this up and we'll take a look at the final score for uh, Cinebench on Windows 10. Now these scores will go up and down just a little bit, but you'll generally get the idea of what scores to expect. 7868. So that's for Windows 10. I'll run the same test on Windows 11. Now don't expect it to be massively different to Windows 11. It's just that a lot of people seem to think there's always going to be massive changes with an operating system. And to be honest, it's the same computer, so I don't expect it to be massive amounts of uh, difference in score. But I'll run it anyway just to show you guys that there's not going to be a major difference between the two. So let's go ahead and uh, click Start here. Now, there will be a slight difference because every time you run uh, these particular uh, tests, you're going to see within a certain threshold, there will be a different score. I'll speed this up. So not to waste your time. And then you'll see the score that you get on Windows 11. So as you can see, we have our final score and it's 7,453. It's actually a lesser score than Windows 10. And it's by about 300 odd points. And that's exactly what I'd expect anyway, because if we run this again, we'll probably get another different score and it could be slightly higher or it could be uh, the same or slightly lower. 
let's go ahead and run a, a rise of the tomb raider on windows 10 and on windows 11 so you can see the difference so we'll run it on windows 10 first and we'll go ahead and see what sort of uh, benchmarks we can get on here because this is an actual game now again i don't expect this to be massively uh, different from windows 11 to windows 10 i don't think there's going to be a major difference here but you can see the graphics settings here are as is and i'll do exactly the same thing on windows 11 but this is windows 10 so i'm going to start the benchmark and let that run and then we'll get an average of each of those uh, benchmarks so you can see what the score is at the end now, i'm not going to play this the whole way through because otherwise we'll be here all day but you'll generally get an idea of what you can expect uh, when gaming so this should be a good idea of what you can actually get for frames per second on windows 10 and windows 11. now i've been reading quite a few people's benchmark scores for windows 11 and you know blowing smoke up its arse basically saying it's something uh, fantastic for gamers and to be honest i don't think there's going to be a massive difference between the two so you can see here the score is on the mountain peaks we've got 118 frames per second minimum 40.18 max 172 then you've got syria uh, 98.16 minimum 42.20 and maximum 147 and the last one is 95.89 minimum 26.3 maximum 146.28 that's a maximum score of 104 uh, frames per second or thereabouts so let's take a look at windows 11 now and we'll go ahead and take a look at the settings here you can see they're exactly the same as they were on windows 10 and we'll run this benchmark for windows uh, 11 and we'll see what we get with their benchmark scores so let's go back here and start this off so i'm going to go back and then once we go back we can then start the benchmark so off we go going to run the benchmark here and again i'm not expecting massive differences uh, as some people have suggested that you get a major difference uh, on windows 11 i really don't think we're going to see that much of a difference between the two so i'm trying to keep this benchmarking uh, a little bit simple we're going to be sticking to uh, tomb raider here and you can try it on other games but you can see here overall we actually got an overall score of 94.65 for windows 11 which is actually lower than Windows 10. I'll put them up on the screen side by side. You can see there is slight differences where Windows 11 wins out on some of the um, uh, benchmarks, but the overall score was actually lower on Windows 11 than it was on Windows 10. So what do all these benchmarks actually mean? Does it mean that Windows 11 is this awesome uh, gaming operating system compared to Windows 10? No, it doesn't. Not in my view. It just basically beat out windows 10 by about 16 frames per second on uh, heaven benchmark but then when it come to tomb raider windows 10 had an overall score better than windows 11 so really it's not that uh, sort of conclusive it's not a massive big score difference really to say that windows 11 is a better gaming operating system than windows 10 now of course you can do some more extensive testing i'm pretty sure there's people out there willing to waste many hours of their valuable time trying to find out whether windows 11 is this awesome gaming operating system that you can use and basically i just don't think it's worth uh you know worrying about because there isn't a sort of a massive difference between the two and you've got to remember as well i did run that d bloat script on windows 11 and that could have give windows 11 a slight edge uh, on getting a few extra frames uh, over windows 10 because windows 10 was just a fresh install but really it doesn't really matter at the end of the day you're not going to gain a massive noticeable difference in frames per second using either operating system in my personal opinion now remember this was just a basic uh, comparison test between the two it wasn't a massive in-depth uh, test that say gamers nexus would do over five weeks and test uh, multiple different games and platforms over windows 10 and windows 11 it was just a simple test here and to be honest i'm not going to really put put that much energy into it it is what it is but anyway that said my name has been brian for brightechcomputers.co.uk big shout out to all my youtube members who join my youtube members group i appreciate the support and i shall see you again for another video real soon bye for now